Okay, focus on your breath. Keep track of the breath. In Pali, it's called anupasana. Anu is to follow, pasana is to see. Follow the breath in, follow the breath out. That's all you have to do. On days like this, when it's really hot, it's hard to think anything creative. But fortunately, you don't have to be creative here. You just have to be observant. And as long as the mind stays with the breath, it's fine. It starts wandering off. The image the Buddha gives is of a cart that goes off of a road into the wilderness. Ends up, the axle gets broken, the, the wheels get broken. You get bogged down. Whereas if you stay on the road, you can go far. So stay with the breath all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out, each breath coming and each breath going out. It's like following a thread in a tapestry. Don't let yourself get distracted by the threads of other colors. You've got this one thread that you're trying to follow. And the continuity of your gaze is going to determine what you see. Because you're going to be seeing things that are already there. Just that you skip over them. There are so many gaps in our awareness. We jump over them and we turn a blind eye to them. We make assumptions about them, but we don't really see them. So look carefully, as continually as you can. That's all that's asked of you. You're not trying to see anything that's not there. You're developing what is there. And realizing that takes a huge burden off the mind. <laughs>